Hello. Call him Ishmael. He steps out of his house, dressed for work, and kickstarts his SUV, only to hear it give a roar. That's strange, he thinks. He checks the vehicle and finds that it has happened to him. The portion of the exhaust system which contains one all-important device, i.e. the catalytic converter, has disappeared. The rogue who must have made away with it would most probably make a decent amount of money selling the converter to a scrap yard. Now, you would be forgiven to think that from the perspective of a thief, carjacking would be the preferred crime. But spiriting away with a car's catalytic converter is much easier. And what the rogue in the story is after is a certain rare chemical element which is contained in the catalytic converter of modern vehicles. Now, the catalytic converter is a bulge along the length of the exhaust pipe that functions as an emissions control device, converting noxious gases such as nitric oxide, nitrogen dioxide, and carbon monoxide, which are byproducts of the combustion of fuel in vehicle engines, into gases that are less harmful to the environment. Catalysts are needed to drive this conversion, and this is where the rare chemical element, the precious metal, comes in. So now meet rhodium, the precious metal which is what the thief in that story was after. Its price per ounce now stands at nearly 28,000 US dollars. Move over gold, rhodium's the in thing these days it seems, because at that price it's a whopping 16 times more expensive than gold. What is rhodium then, you may ask? It is the 45th element in the periodic table. It belongs to the group known as the Platinum Group Metals, which is a group of precious metals and comprises ruthenium, rhodium, palladium, osmium, iridium and platinum, as you move from left to right in the periodic table. The name rhodium is from the Greek word rhodon, which is translated rose in English. Rhodium is so named because, although it's a silvery white metal and generally unreactive, in rare situations it forms salts which have a rose-red colour. The British scientist William Hyde Wollaston discovered the element in 1803. Rhodium is inert, i.e. chemically stable and unreactive, it's cool like a lake. Therefore, rhodium can withstand corrosion and can drive the reduction of nitrogen oxides, which are harmful to the environment, to the less toxic nitrogen gas without being consumed in the reaction. So, if you like, rhodium is like the guy who goads two other guys into fighting each other and then stands back and watches on, pleased to have achieved his goal. Not only is rhodium more expensive than gold or silver, it's rarer than both. Most of the world's rhodium comes from mines in South Africa and Russia. Next, you might be itching to know why rhodium is so expensive. You will in a minute. Why is rhodium so expensive? Well, that's because we need rhodium but don't have enough of it, as it is a rare byproduct of the mining of platinum, palladium and nickel. These precious metals are obtained in higher quantities than rhodium, so Although expensive themselves, they are less expensive than rhodium. Also, the present necessity of reduction in direct human contact has spelled a reduction in the number of people working in mines. Because of the rising cases of theft of catalytic converters for the sake of finding the highly prized rhodium, car makers are considering the possibility of relying more on palladium, for instance, rather than rhodium. That's not as easy as operating light switch, considering that palladium is an oxidating agent, in contrast to rhodium, a reducing agent. And although platinum could do both, and used to be the go-to catalyst, rhodium produces less ammonia than platinum and has overtaken platinum as the preferred catalyst. Are we stuck then? But not forever, I hope. For now, be sure to have a proper security system installed in your car. Do not park in a secluded place. You could etch your vehicle identification number on your vehicle's converter, 
so you can trace it if it gets stolen. You could also lobby your local lawmakers so that they can raise a bill preventing random individuals from selling catalytic converters as crap as people in the US state of Oregon have done. Or you would be left puzzled about where your car's catalytic converter has gone to and you might have to cough up over a thousand dollars to replace it. Well, I've got to go check my car and who knows, I could catch some sneaking vermin red-handed. Wait, have I got a car? Oh, no matter. Thank you for watching and it's bye from me and back to you. If you like this video, leave a comment and subscribe for more. So long.